Hey everybody, this is Leon Star, and today we're going to talk about the latest version of Milky Tracker, which is out now, and we're going to talk about what is new and why it's important. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, the user interface, or the default one, had a huge makeover. So the old one looked like this. So over there you can see a lot of buttons. Um, and this might be a bit daunting for new users. Um, now it basically looks like this. We have a transport bar. It's just a bit cleaner and a bit more to the point. It has three sections, file browser, the instrument editor to basically add envelopes to your samples and the sample editor. Uh, everything else uh, you can look up in the help section. Uh, so there's a help button, also the configuration options are here, and everything else moved over to this context menu, which you can open using your right mouse button. So this is, I think, a, a big a big improvement, and if you, for whatever reason, you want the classic Milky Tracker user interface, you can go to layout, uh, press this uh, next button and then here you can choose classic UX. But the biggest feature of this edition of Milky Tracker is the Milky Synth, the Milky Synthesizer. It's built into the sample editor. So you see two buttons. Uh, this is a star. This is the random synthesizer button. It basically gives you a starting point because if you press the synth button you will get all the parameters and uh, there's actually two synthesizers in here in the Milky Synth. It's FM, it's this one, uh, with your basic uh, FM controls, a reverb, a filter. You can also set loop types. This is a special synthesizer. It's a looping synthesizer, which means if for whatever reason something exceeds the sample time, for example, a long release or a long reverb, it will basically flow back into the beginning of the sample. So this is a really unique way, uh, a way to synthesize looped samples. So there's also the more traditional cycle synth in there, which allows you to um, create, yeah, basically single cycle waveforms or actually uh, multiple cycle waveforms so it's a really nice way to get these chip kind of synths going. But uh, kid you not, you can make really nice synths with this as well when combined with the envelope section. Uh, some nice uh, envelopes here, you can loop them. Okay, and to celebrate this Milky Tracker edition, we've also added a instrument pack called Milky Pack 01 to this release. Uh, you can download it from the website and it features features all kind of uh, synthesizer sounds made with the Milky Synth. So let's check out these sounds. I'm gonna just loop them first, actually. Very nice sound. Next one. The chip piano. This is very nice. It gives me instant uh, Aphex Twin vibes. Thick synthy piano sound like it. Yeah, this is this could be an intro intro for a jungle track. Nice one. Also, notice the stereo vibes here. Jungle bass. Gotta have a jungle bass. Actually, two jungle bass. Ah, oh, this is so good. This is perfect. By the way, just a, a small tip. I'm selecting the second sample of this instrument. If you press Ctrl Shift V, you basically capture the whole pattern as a sample. 
and um, here I will play it. So this is a great way to resample. You know, best case is just a, an FM synthesizer with a reverb, and I, I've also added a car plus strong algorithm in there, which is basically a uh, delayed piece of noise. And I was surprised that this can really create some really nice string sounds uh, when combined with a filter and a reverb. So kid you not, this Carpus Strong, Car Plus Strong, I think that's it, is, is a really powerful way to create uh, strings. So what do we have more in store for you for this Milky Tracker release? Effects. So effects for these samples are very important because in a typical Milky Tracker module or any module with samples like mod, like the samples define the mix. So instead of sort of equalizing the whole mix in Milky Tracker, you fine tune the samples to get the mix you want. So here we have a um, keyboard sound which sounds a bit dry because we didn't enable the envelope so let me um, set the fade out here yeah sounds much better okay let's go to the sample screen sounds much better okay so the first effect is um, reverb so interesting about this reverb and a lot of these effects is that they are loop aware and this sets Milky Tracker and the sample editor apart from traditional wave editors which don't um, take in account that an, a sample is looped or not. So um, here we have a bi bi-directional loop. Um, so, so technically the reverb would sort of stop at the end of the sample and in the beginning of the sample you, you would not hear any reverb at all. Well, in Milky Tracker the reverb is aware of this and you can set a very high size, a long size for the reverb, you can set it very wet and you'll notice that if I press OK, you can, if you listen closely you can hear that the reverb is seamless so it's not let me pick another sound actually okay so here i have a different sound and i will show that the reverb will be seamless if we loop it forward check this out big size and you can see like it's stretching the whole sample which means that it, the end is flowing back into the beginning Voila! It's also great to uh, load these things into your hardware sampler uh, because many hardware samplers don't really have these features. So Milky Tracker is also a great way to facilitate hardware samplers. Okay, so the same happens to delays. So if we do the delay, which is also a new effect, you will see that, um, let's add four echoes. Let's make it a bit faster. You can see that it's kind of like feeding back into the beginning. Uh, and this is, I think, really cool. We can even band pass the delayed version. You can also saturate the delayed version. Okay, so another cool feature is the 90s time stretch. If you know what the Akai time stretch is, this is for you. So uh, here we have a sample of a vocal. And we can stretch this. Uh, so this is a good bad time stretch. So it's not a Roland or a Steinberg time stretch. This is a bad one, which is what we want. Okay, check this out. Let's redo it, make it even more. And you can do really cool stuff with this. You can also make soundscapes. Um, you can smooth it out later by adding a reverb to it. Um, let's see what this does. Okay, so next up is the saturation. So we have a saturator 
in the sample editor so you can tweak sounds while they play. Check this out. So this also applies to a lot of other effects. A lot of uh, effects with dialogues are now real time. So if you want to tweak the volume of the sample, you can do that while the pattern is playing, which is great from a mix point of view. So the filter is also very cool. Uh, you can actually drive it into aliasing mode which is uh, sort of like a no-go area for traditional sound applications. But in many cases, people actually want dirt or grit and artifacts. So uh, there is this grit zone, which you can use in this uh, low-pass filter, which I think is pretty nice here and there. Also, um, you can play this while the pattern is playing. Check this out. You hear the grid? Okay, so then what we have is we have a special boost. So the ProTracker boost historically is a really great way to, you know, excite a sample a little bit to make it stand out in the mix a bit more. It's almost too much. Well, we do have the, the equalizers, which are very nice as well. So they will now update in real time as well, which is, again, really great from a mixing point of view. So the synthesizer, the uh, FM and cycle can also be used as additive synthesizers. Uh, have a look at this. I'm now lowering the volume a bit. Let's say we have this waveform. And maybe I want to sort of like add a sub bass layer to this cycle or uh, something else. Then if I press select all and I press synth, you will suddenly see that it, ha it says additive, which means that whatever I'm synthesizing right now with these settings, um, I'm, uh, I'm basically adding to this sample. So you're basically painting on top of this uh, single cycle waveform. Okay, this is the new Milky Tracker release. I hope you liked it and I hope you keep tracking because tracking is such a great, great way to make music with samples anytime, anywhere, on any device. Cheers! bit more trancy. Ooh. I like this. Synthy synthy. Ooh. This is pr this is pretty epic. I was really surprised that I could basically make these kind of sounds with the Milky Synth.